Welcome everyone to the Coaster Spot. This is Alex and we're back at Six Flags Over Georgia for another construction update number four filmed on June 30th of the Georgia Surfer. The Intamin Ultra Surf Coaster basically launches you back and forth and uh, spins and will get you wet. But yeah, we have the Wacky Wave Wing and Fluval Tube Men for the Summer Vibes Festival that's taking place in the park. Not sure what the dates are. Of course, Jason the Southerner, who lives down there, grabbed these uh, videos for us so we could have some construction updates and everything. And I assume once the ride opens up, we'll get some footage of it as well from him. But here's the stationary. You can see that the gates have been put in place and the dropping floor as well. And they started to build out the mechanical room, it looks like, where all the computers are gonna go that run the LSMs and the ride and the uh, everything. Uh, so, and then the two towers have been in place. I love how they kind of uh, go vertical and then don't go vertical. So you should get some kind of wacky airtime when you're up there. And that should also affect the spinning quite well too, I think, is if you think about it, uh, the track is gonna be constantly moving so it won't get a vehicle that's just dead and doesn't spin at all. It's like some of them have, like especially up at American Dream. Underneath the Airtime Hill, which looks fantastic, by the way, is a building, and I believe this is gonna be the pump house, as you can see a bunch of water piping going in and out of it. So uh, that's nice to see. Of course, this ride will have water effects, but they're not gonna be triggered by the train directly, so there's no like scoops that splash down into the water. It's all done by sensors and everything. So theoretically, when this uh, ride opens and it might be kind of late. Uh, it uh, could run without the water effects, especially like during Christmas and early in the season and all that stuff. So this ride could run all season long when it's too cold to actually run the water. It looks like the basin there needs its final bit of concrete on the outer rim part, but uh, it's looking like it's getting there. And it seems like progress is moving very nicely compared to even the Flash Vertical Velocity, which finished its construction really quickly with all the steel up in New Jersey at Six Flags Great Adventure. But then since then, uh, while work has been going on, it's been pretty slow in comparison. Uh, this is just 21 days after our last update and all the track went in and lots of other things have taken place to get this thing open, hopefully uh, before the end of the summer. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna actually make it uh, before weekday operations end, unfortunately. But uh, I am interested in finally riding this thing whenever it opens. It looks like it's just kind of an upgrade to the half pipe coasters that Intamin has done for uh, about 20 years now. And it uh, looks like it's a great time. And, you know, of course, water rides are great for Georgia, as it seems like today. Uh, as I'm actually finally recording this voiceover, it is uh, extremely hot, over 100 degrees with the real feel. So uh, this ride cannot open soon enough. But anyways, thanks for watching. This has been Alex. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll have more updates here from Six Flags Over Georgia and from all around the world here on the Coaster Spot. Bye.